Now, you know what I was, I was starting to tell the story about, you know, and I got mostly the way through it, about me speaking to that thing in my physical, and, and, it, and, it, and it, it, went, it went. And the Lord took me down this path where he showed me, and I, I'm not kidding you, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not bragging, I'm just telling you by facts. I probably have hundreds of those things that happen in my life. Maybe, maybe many more, I don't want to exaggerate. But the Lord said, you know, what the Holy Spirit reminded me of, this happened all in just a few moments. He reminded me, he says, you know, do you, what's happening when you do something contrary to that or you go start giving credit to what's, you let something define, you say, well, I took nutrition, you know, and that did, took care of all this. You know what I just did? I actually stepped away from, I believe those things that I say shall come to pass. Wow, that was quiet. You know, I expected maybe a little man on that or something, you know. Do you understand what I did there? See, the, the, the truth was that God instructed me to say, by his word, to speak to that mountain, that obstacle. And I didn't, it left. But yet when I have a testimony towards it, I talked about the nutrition. Yeah. Right. See? Right. No, he says, if you continue, you know, there's a continuation of this to believe that those things you say to come to pass. If you look this up, support, you know, I'm, I'm not going to do it now. It wasn't part of my lesson, but you can do it later. Lark 11, 22, 23. Look at 23. There's word say, the word saying or saith is in there three times. One is epil, which means to basically to speak. One of them, though, is the one that's the word, um, it refers to logos, which means for to a systematic set discourse. Now, I'm going to say it again. It means a systematic set discourse. It's legos, not logos. Legos. Did I say it? Lego? Lego. It's a systematic set discourse. It means you're doing it all the time. In other words, you don't, you don't vary from it. It's a building block of your faith, if you will. In fact, when the, the, with issue, the woman with the issue of blood just said, for she had said, if I'll be made whole if I can touch him of his garment. That word there is the same word, a systematic set discourse. She didn't just say this once. It's not important how many times you say it. It's not that at all. It's what you say all the time. It's part of your character. It's part of your, your definition. <laughs> it's what you go to, to your Webster's, if you will. It's what you go to to look up who you are and what you are. And that has to be built by the Word of God. It has to be built by a picture that the Word of God paints for you. See, Not by somebody saying, you did this on the Sabbaths? Because see, that was an attempt to redefine who he was. Redefine what he would do next time. Yeah. Yeah. Am I going to be concerned about what they think? Am I going to step back and say, no, wait a minute, it's a Sabbath. It'll wait till tomorrow. Uh-oh. What did God tell you to do? Because <laughs> obedience is important in this thing. If you don't think so, go remind yourself and read the, the stories about the, the widow woman. <laughs> the, there's widow women here. But widow woman. Let's, let's do a couple of them. The widow woman that had the, 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 the debt with the sons. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. What Elisha said, now I want you to go, what do you have in the house? I got nothing. Oh, wait. I got a little bit of oil. I'll oh, take that oil. He said, I want you to go to the neighbors and borrow, ve borrow vessels. And don't borrow a few. Right. And fill your house with these vessels. And then shut the door upon yourself and the sons. Mm -hmm. you know, and then start pouring that oil into those vessels. Now, what if she decided I'm not going to do that? Well, what if I'm going to wait till next week? You might, I don't know if it's, I'm saying it's not going to work. But, you know, what if she didn't do it? What if she left a part out? It was very important to her. What about when the, the prophet came to the, the woman who was ready to, to make a cake? We've got a couple of sticks and a little bit of meal. I'm going to make one cake, and then we're going to die. Yeah. Wow, that's a, that's a tough yeah. statement. Tough. He said, well, why don't you do this? Instead of making it for your son, make me one first. Right. What? Yeah. <laughs> and she did it. And there was enough to make them one, too. Yeah. And the barrel, the meal... And the cruise of oil did not fail for as long as that, that, that famine was in place. That's huge. You know what that was? That was obedience. That was doing what the prophet said. Second Chronicles 20, 20. I want to remind you of something. Second Chronicles 20. We're going to put that for me, Kenan. We're going to read the last part of this verse. It says, believe the Lord your God, and so shall you be established. Everybody say established. established. The Bible tells us to have an established heart, right? Amen. So believe the Lord your God, and so shall you be established. Believe the prophets. Okay. Hear me, O Judah, and the inhabitants of... You've got to move up. Will you go to the next one scroll up or not? Does it not do it on there? 
Believe in the Lord your God, and so shall you be established. Believe his prophets, and so shall you prosper. In the Hebrew, these two words are the same. Which two? Established and believe. It means to build upon and to be, a, to be positionally placed in front of it. And it's, there's a, it means to prosper. It, I'm sure that there's more of the definition on this, but I want you to realize something, that being established is believing. And being, believing is being established. Understand that? Amen. So it's important to, to know those things and to, and to realize that I believe God. Everybody say, I'm a believer. I'm a, believer. I'm a professional believer. I'm it is what I do. Amen? Now you watch your mouth. Because you know what happened? Somebody will say something to you you go, I can't believe that. Yes, you can. If you want to, you can. Yes. <laughs> you may choose not to, and you should choose not to believe some things. Lots right. of things. Right. But you're a believer. Yes. And you know why it's important you to say that? And to guard your heart on those things? Because the Bible says that if you believe those things you say shall come to pass, you'll have what you say. And if you keep diluting that system with, I don't believe stuff, when you can believe it, and you do believe, you're a professional believer. Yeah. Yes. Don't say you can't be who God said you are. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Even the little stuff. Well, that doesn't really matter. Yes, yes it, it does. does. It does. Yes, it does. Well, because it's got to be more than talk. It's got to be, like yes. you said. Yep. It's well, and out of the abundance of the heart speaks. Mm -hmm. The mouth speaks. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Yeah. So what you've been putting in comes out. Can you believe that? You know, people say that to me. I said, yes, I can if I want to, but I choose not to. They look at me like, what? You're weird. That's okay. I've been called worse, you know. Amen. The, the point is, I'd rather, be, I'd rather be weird and full of faith, I'll tell you that. Amen. Because that's not weird.